Hello everybody, hope you're doing good today. I see you have a lot of questions and I have some answers for you. Let's not talk around the bush and jump right into it, eh? What's your next big adventure travel plan? I'm glad you asked, because I am already on my next adventure. In the next seven days, I'm going to cross the country of Sri Lanka in this legendary vehicle over there. The rickshaw or tuk-tuk. We're gonna drive on mountains, on tea plantations, on the beach. Let's hope this baby will do a good job. And of course I will make a video about it and show you in, uh, in the near future. But the edit will take a while, I guess. What are your top three German beers? Is Bavaria beer really good? If I have to choose, my top three German beers are Aktienzwickel, Pilz from Lambroy, and uh, there are so many good Weizen. I would say this Weizen right here, Hefeweizen. And is Bavaria beer really good? Yes. Bavarians, for the most part, make the best beer in Germany. Why Germans don't get married? Well, Germans still get married, not as much as they used to, but young people especially, they don't marry anymore because they see it as an outdated thing to do, a relic of the past, and it's often associated with religion, and most of Germans have become atheist. And the most common reason for young Germans to get married nowadays is for tax reasons. Yeah, it's true. Romantic, right? Are Germans more B when they get drunk? The more drunk a German gets, the more B he will become. I have some friends who are very straight when they are sober, but when they are drunk, they sometimes can't distinguish between the sexes anymore, or they don't care, but they do things more likely when they're, when they're drunk. B things, very B things. Do you lift, bro? What kind of question is that? <laughs> of course I lift. Next, do native Germans feel some national pride anymore? That's a very difficult topic. It's kind of a weird situation for Germans because Germans feel like they're not allowed to have pride for their nation due to historical reasons, you know? And if Germans put a German flag up their house, this would be seen as something nationalistic. So the German flag is used by people only during football events, mostly. And apart from that, I don't think Germans feel too much national pride because Germans complain about Germany all the time and we are disappointed about how our country turned out. The politicians are doing everything wrong all the time, nothing works and it's becoming a third world country to live in, slowly. Have you ever walked from A to B or only from C to D? Why should I walk if I have tuk-tuk? Huh? Aside from Berlin, what German city would you recommend to move to? I would recommend Leipzig, amazing city, yeah, good nightlife, alternative scene, Konstanz, another great city in the south, you're directly at the lake, super beautiful, and Heidelberg, super scenic, a lot of young people, lot, lots of students, yeah, so those are my top three recommendations, and of course if you like bigger cities, Hamburg is great as well. Why does everyone in Berlin like techno? It's poop. Well, when I moved to Berlin, I didn't like techno, I hated techno. But Berlin will make you love techno, if you want it or not. Yeah, because it is everywhere and you get a feeling for it. And at some point, after one, after two years, you will love it. I promise. What are your three favorite hobbies? Well, that's an easy one. My top three favorite hobbies are playing volleyball playing video games and playing board games. Yeah, I'm a player. I play all the time. If you were able to change one thing about Berlin, what would it be? I would introduce the magnificent tuk-tuk. Just imagine Berlin with thousands of tuk-tuks roaming around. It would be so much fun, wouldn't it? What's your job? Well, YouTube is my full-time job by now. And speaking of work, have you heard about NordVPN, the sponsor of today's video? No? Well, then it's a good thing you're watching because you need it. Every time I'm in a different country and I want to use my Google account, I have to log in again because Google thinks uh, I'm being hacked from somewhere else and then I have to re-enter my password, which of course I don't remember because it's like 50 characters long. But with NordVPN, with just one click, I can switch my virtual location to Germany and then I don't have to do that. When you're using public Wi-Fi, like in a cafe, an airport or co-working space, 
you should be using a VPN anyway. If you don't, you're making it very easy for potential bad actors to access everything you're doing on your PC, including entering passwords. That's also part of the reason why Nord has become more than just a VPN client. In response to more and more sophisticated criminal activity on the internet, they have developed a suite of threat protection features that allow you to become more safe on the internet. It even has an ad blocker and a track blocker integrated. With just one click, you can stop intrusive trackers from following you on the internet. You can block intrusive ads, shield yourself from malware while you're online, and you can generally stay safer while surfing the internet. I let NordVPN just run in the background and then I don't have to think about any of that. But honestly, they're just the best VPN client out there and they're constantly working to make their service better. And I'm grateful they exist because I'm using it all the time. And thank you NordVPN for supporting this channel. You really have a great product. So if you want to try this out, go to nordvpn.com slash radical living and get the exclusive deal that is on right now. There even is a 30 day money back guarantee so it's completely risk-free. You're welcome. And now to the next question. Best cheapest places to visit around Europe. So if you wanna have a cheap and awesome place, the first country you should visit is Hungary. Hungary, so beautiful, the food is excellent, and it is super cheap still. So number one choice, Hungary. Then another great country, which is awesome and cheap, very small though, is Slovakia. If you're from Western Europe, it feels like everything is for free there and I recommend you to go there as well. And my third suggestion would be Montenegro. Montenegro is such a beautiful country. They have fjords at the sea, at the coastline, where you can go hiking. It's still not a big tourist destination. The old city of Kotor, oh, beautiful. But it's still very cheap to go there. So if you are in the area, go there. How did you learn Bahasa, Indonesia? Well, I moved to Bali in 2013 and after one week I got the Indonesian girlfriend for maybe a month and she was teaching me. Work smart, not hard. How tall are you? I'm exactly 180 centimeters. Do you like classical music? Is this a rhetorical question? Haven't you seen my unofficial music video of Moonlight Munzata by Beethoven? Hmm? If you haven't, go watch it now. It's awesome. I'm looking for a llama. Where can I find the best kebab in Berlin? Guys, I've made a list with all the best restaurants, also the best kebabs in Berlin, and I put this list on my Patreon. Yeah, if you wanna see it, go sign up for my Patreon. I'm not gonna make it public for everybody because I go to these kebab places regularly and I don't want them to be overrun, okay? Do you intend to return back to studying biology? I have no plans to do so, but I was thinking of maybe starting a separate YouTube channel in which I can focus more on biology, make it a fun biology channel, you know? Maybe some animal stuff, plant stuff with funny voice overlay, you know? I think that might be fun. But let's see if I can find time for that. It would be awesome though. Have you tried to make your own beer? I have tried to make my own beer only once in school in the subject of biotechnology. Um, it was pretty fun to learn the process, but the beer that came out of it tasted horrible. So yeah, after that I, I never had the urge to try to make my own beer again. So no, I am not gonna do it. I just buy good beer in the store. Much easier. Are you ever going to visit the United States, specifically Florida? I am planning to go to the United States next year in autumn. Uh, I want to go to the Vid Summit, um, you know, this video conference uh, for YouTubers. This is happening in Austin, Texas, but I'm planning to go to Florida after because there's a guy living who I know. It's, uh, it's Heiko from the South Florida Fishing Channel. And since I'm there, I, I thought, let's do a collab with him, right? What do you think about Vienna night and art scene? I lived there for a decade and I think it's a good compromise between party and quality of life. I would very much agree. Vienna is an awesome city to live in. The quality of life is amazing. And I have been out there for only for a weekend, but I really liked what I saw. So yeah, I would live there. So it's a good compromise, yes. For how long Berliners can survive with no drugs? I have a question for you. Is the Berliner even a Berliner if he doesn't do drugs? What do Germans think of Spain? <laughs> Germans love Spain. 
In fact, they love it so much that they even annexed one of their islands, Mallorca, which is the 17th federal state of Germany, basically. Lots of Germans buy holiday homes there, they move there when they retire because the climate is much nicer. So from the statistics, I think it's third place uh, from the countries Germans emigrate to. Number one is Switzerland, then Austria and then is Spain. The Germans that can afford to move out of Germany, they will most likely choose Spain. Because every German wants to escape the weather. Do you have any advice to live in Germany as a foreigner? I'm Japanese, by the way. You are coming from paradise and you move to Germany? Yes, I have an advice. Move back! What are you doing here? What's your favorite German band, musician? Well, if I have to choose one, I have to choose the Ärzte, because I grew up with them and I still know probably 400 songs of them in my head. Uh, there's probably better bands out there nowadays, but you know how nostalgia is. Yeah, you love what you grew up with most of the time. Die fette Elke! Since you're a techno fan, have you ever been to any techno parade in Germany or abroad? Uh, of course, I have been to many techno parades, but I have learned not to like them. It's hot, you're sweating, and there's too many people everywhere. The worst thing for me still is, uh, I don't like partying during the day, because then I have to see all the people on drugs, sweating in the daylight, being fucked up, and uh, I prefer not to. I prefer, if I go out, to go out during the night so I don't have to see them or myself uh, for that matter. So yeah, uh, I'm not a big fan of parades, you will not find me there. How do you see the near future of Germany? 25 to 50 years. Well, historically speaking, Germany is trying to attempt gaining power every once in a while and uh, it seems like there's a lot of weak politicians at the moment and uh, a strong one will emerge soon. It's been a hundred years, so there you have it. Hans, we're going to Austria. Get the Panzer. Next, any plans to come to India? Well, I would love to come to India because I have been there only for three months traveling from Delhi to Kerala, but I have not been to the north or east, so I hope I can go next year, uh, if I have time I will. Because the video, when people from Germany visit India, is gonna happen. Of all the things your country has accomplished, which of them makes you feel extremely proud to be German? I had to think about that question for a while. And I would say the thing I'm most proud of is that Germany, as a society, as a country, has integrated a great work-life balance. For German people it's very important to have a life outside of work. It's not like in America where you have this culture of work, work, work. You know, there's this saying, Germans work to live and Americans live to work. There's a lot of laws protecting your time as an employee so you don't overwork yourself. There's tons of holidays, there's maternity leave, Elterngeld, you know, things like that. And I'm very happy that Germany managed to integrate this into society and make this important because, yeah, what would life be if it would only be work, it would be very sad. What do you believe happened to King Ludwig II? Was his death an act of suicide or murder? Well, he drowned in the Sternberger Lake. Have you ever heard of anyone drowning who is suicidal? I call murder by a jealous Munich guy who wanted his, his castle, yeah. Why do German people drink so much beer? Well, that's kind of obvious, isn't it? It's because of Weltschmerz. Weltschmerz is the only reason Germans drink so much. Mm. That were all the questions for the day, everybody. If you have made it until here, let me tell you, you are awesome. Thanks for watching. I have to go uh, ride a tuk-tuk now. So I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Bye. On the road with my